Welcome back to the channel guys, Kurt Kreifels, coming to you guys with some brand new Lexus news updates, especially on the RX, the 2020 refresh. That's what I'll be going over today. Oh, guys, I always forget. Don't forget to smash the heck out of that like button. Subscribe for more Lexus news. Let's jump straight into it. But I won this in training today and it is a bottle, insulated bottle. I haven't opened this, so let's just do a quick unboxing of it and see what my knowledge, my Lexus knowledge earned for me today. Oh yeah, so sorry, I, I just totally failed at unboxing because I didn't show the unboxing on screen, but nothing, nothing too special there. So we got this insulated Lexus bottle here. Can you see that? Pretty neat if you ask me. I think even this cap is insulated as well. So got that for you guys, pretty neat. Lexus insulated bottle there. News, I got it on my phone. I took a picture of the, the, the notes that I jotted it down. So a lot of you guys know the 2020 RX is gonna be a refresh. Well, and I have talked about it quite extensively here on the channel. I'm just confirming a lot of the stuff I've already talked about, but there are some new tidbits that I didn't know coming in to this video, or I should say coming into this day where I learned. Uh, anyways, the 2020 RX is dropping two paint colors. It's dropping Autumn Shimmer, which some people call the root beer, and there are huge fans to this color. The NX is getting rid of it, which I already covered in another video, and it's also dropping Satin Cashmere. So I think Lexus is going to be starting to get rid of Satin Cashmere slowly but surely and replace it with Moonbeam Beige. So Moonbeam Beige, it's not 100% confirmed that it's gonna be on the RX, but there is gonna be a color. If it's not this color, Moonbeam Beige, it's gonna be very similar to it. I would assume that it would have it, to be honest, uh, and forgo the Satin Cashmere. Moonbeam Beige is less, less gold-like. Um, it's definitely a more mysterious color than Satin Cashmere. Uh, Satin Cashmere, does have its times where it looks really, really good, but most of the time uh, your average person doesn't typically go for satin cashmere. However, Autumn Shimmer, the root beer color, is going away, and kinda as a result, they're gonna be replacing it with, drum roll, you, you guys, you guys, you already saw it in the thumbnail, Nori Green. Nori Green of all paint colors is coming to the RX. I don't know what to think about it yet. I. I'm kind of at a loss for words, to be honest. But they introduced Nori Green and Cadmium Orange with the brand new UX, and they are moving Cadmium Orange also on the 2020 NX. So I feel like, oh, they, they really like these colors. And Moonbeam Beige, by the way, um, is from the brand new ES. So I think they're just trying to find ways to put these new paint colors that they're really proud of and excited about and uh, applying them to the existing models to kind of give them an extra spunk. So let's move on from paint colors. Uh, we are also, we also got 100% confirmation that, of course it's gonna have Apple CarPlay, but the RX is gonna be the first Lexus vehicle with Android Auto. Um, so that comes as a relief to a lot of you guys out there. Now I asked uh, my trainer if, hey, you know, since 2018 models of, certain models of our 2018 cars are gonna have a retro update, which depending on the dealership, it'll either be free or about 200 bucks, depending on your dealership. There's a retro update to uh, update the cars that are capable of handling Apple CarPlay to handle that. Um, now, I, I hope I'm not getting too confusing here. So I asked the trainer, I'm like, hey, are they gonna be able to do the same thing with Android Auto since these cars are pretty much the same computer-wise, if it's just a software thing? She's like, uh, you know, I don't know, I haven't heard about it, but if it's a software thing, I think they would be able to do it. But that's far from confirmation um, of them, you know, sending out an update about Android Auto on 2018 ESs, or not ESs, like 2018 NXs and RCs and LSs, LCs for that, for, for, for example. So that's, that's probably the biggest piece of information that I have, it is 100% confirmed. Also 100% confirmed is a touch screen and a trackpad. We're getting rid of the mouse altogether on the RX, so we're getting a, the, a touch screen. 
which people have really been asking for because the touchpad and even the mouse, especially the mouse, just aren't that easy uh, to work with um, while you're driving. Now, oh, this is my lunch break, so uh, that the, the oven just finished preheating. Yes, touchscreen on the RX coming back. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be super excited about that. A lot of you, if you've been following my stuff, I've been talking about that as a strong possibility. Now it's just 100% confirmed. New 18 inch wheels on the 2020 RX, which I, this, it's not that exciting. Uh, currently we have these, I don't know, what are they, six spoke wheels that are okay. Uh, they might be more than that, but I'll put a picture of them. 19, they kind of added a new polish to them. They're a darkened polish. So I don't know if they're gonna change, just keep the same wheel and change maybe the finish on it, or if they're just gonna give us a whole new 18 inch wheel, which is my uh, interpretation of the news I got. But the current wheels, the 20 inch premium, uh, where five split spoke wheels, those are staying that you see in the navigation and premium models. And then to my knowledge, the luxury build wheels are gonna stay the same as well. I don't have 100% confirmation, but it sounds like we are gonna get a new 18 inch wheel for the more base models. You guys should be pretty excited about this one. We are getting six USB ports in the RX. It's a little overkill. The funny thing is, is that I've been I've been saying Lexus needs to have these things in the RX for about a year now since I started my YouTube channel. And it's one of the things that the competition and even not the competition, even like, you know, your your domestics and your lower, lower uh, priced vehicles have USBs, uh, more, more readily available USBs, especially in the back. The RX is now going to have six USB ports. They're probably all going to be quick charging ports as well. I don't know where they're gonna stick them all. It's just kind of comical. Now, I'm like, hey, is that only gonna be on the three row version of the RX, right? The RXL, is it gonna, you know, maybe those two extra two USB ports are gonna be stuffed in the back. And, the, and she, she confirmed, she's like, no, there's gonna be six USB ports in the normal RX as well. So that's kind of cool, something to be excited for. Lexus Safety System Plus 2.0 is going to be on the vehicle, so that will have things like you know uh, road sign detection, pedestrian detection, uh, low light pedestrian detection, I should say, and bicyclist bicyclist detection, and maybe a couple other things. Lane tracing assist instead of the the traditional lane keep assist, which is not my favorite, but the lane tracing is a lot better. It's a lot more accurate and less intrusive, and yeah, that's. I don't need to go on more. It's getting the updated safety system plus, which is we should have new lights and a grill, but I have no confirmation on what those are gonna look like. The new RX will be coming out end of September, early October, somewhere in there. Uh, but that's really about it. I don't have any other news other than that. That is fairly big news. Um, we got new paint colors with Nori Green and Moonbeam Beige. We're getting rid of the satin cashmere. Um, Autumn Shimmer, gosh, I, Autumn Shimmer, yeah, that's okay. I'm okay with that one leaving uh, the RX. Tons of USB ports, so no one can ever complain about that one ever again. <laughs> There's never going to be less than six USB ports ever on an RX uh, going forward. But let me know what you guys think. I gotta, I gotta finish up lunch here. It's not done cooking, uh, and then I'm gonna head back to the dealership uh, once I'm finished up with lunch and I'm gonna go pick up an Infiniti Q50 um, to compare. So uh, our dealership ne network also owns Infiniti, and so every once in a while we do product swaps where I'm gonna take an ESF Sport over there so they can learn about that car and their competition, and I bring over uh, a Q50. I don't know what kind of trim I'm getting. I'd love to have the red Sport Q50 sedan. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, but if you guys have questions on the Infiniti Q50, I'll be able to give you some answers on that. I, I think I have reviewed it in the past on my channel, but this will be like a 2019 model, which is pretty cool. I've been rambling a bit. That's the news on the new RX. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'll see you guys in the comments below, and until next time, peace.